pretty simple with figure eight. You're basically making like uh, a horizontal eight with your arm. Now there's also a circle that goes behind you this way, like so. As you can notice, think of it like a clock, okay? And every time we hit, um, let's see, every time we're here and we hit 12 o'clock, it's gonna sh it's gonna pull over to the other side of our body. Once we hit 12 o'clock, pulls over to this side of the body. 12 o'clock pulls over to this side. 12 o'clock. So just practice that. Every time you hit 12 o'clock, pull it over like you're slashing a sword. I'll stand this direction so you can see. Once we hit 12 o'clock, we're pulling it over to the other side of our body. 12 o'clock slash. Eventually, you'll just be making these slashes, and it looks like a, a infinity sign or a sideways eight. That's exactly what you want. Now tighten it a little bit, like this. By the way, you will be burning yourself if you use fire nunchucks like this because the fire would be like right underneath your arm. So <laughs> that's when you start working something called wrist rolls, which is something that we'll be working on uh, a little bit later. Here, 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 here. Now we're gonna stop and we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna do it on the other side. Slash, 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 slash. We're missing a couple things, but that's okay. Right now we're working on the outside, these two points, the wings as I like to call it. We, did, we haven't worked the center yet, but we'll get to that soon. Now, we've got, we've got one that's sloshing downwards like this at 12 o'clock. If you do the reverse, if your arm's moving in the opposite direction, it's going to be, be moving up at 6 o'clock and you're slashing upwards. Before, see how we're slashing downwards? If you're doing the reverse figure eight, it's slashing upwards like this. Up. So every time it hits six o'clock, it slashes up. Six o'clock, up. So it looks like this. Or if we're going this direction. Okay, for this direction, up, up, up. Now as you can see, there's a circle here and a circle here, and it's just crossing between these two circles, right? Every time we hit six o'clock, it pulls up. Six o'clock, pulls up, six o'clock pulls up, 6 o'clock, pulls up. Here's an interesting thing. If we pull it up at 6 o'clock, and once we hit 12 o'clock, we can turn 180 degrees, okay? And then we can reverse it. Let that sit for a second, okay? So what I'm saying is if I'm doing re reverse here, we're going up at 6 o'clock. The moment I hit 12 o'clock, I can turn this direction, and now I'll do a regular figure eight at 12 o'clock. It'll, it'll move perfectly. So I'm going in reverse. Every time I hit 6 o'clock, you know, I'm pulling over to the other side. There's 6 o'clock, pulling it over. Boom, we're at 12 o'clock. I can turn 180 degrees and just start working the forwards. Boom, boom. The opposite is true as well. If I'm crossing over at 12 o'clock while doing my regular figure eight, the moment I hit 6 o'clock, I can turn 180 degrees and go back to the reverse. This should give me... This should give me access to both of these points while skipping the center point, okay? Which is going to be the next thing that we're going to get into. This may take some time to learn, but I'm telling you, this is like the core because what you're doing is you're opening movement. You're opening your ability to be able to move across a room doing figure eights. Like, you probably may not be able to see this well, but you'll be able to move back and forth with figure eights all the way through. And once we add the wrist rolls, it's going to create so much flair and so much variety.